Good evening, friends and members of the Episcopal Parishes in Austin. My name is Cooper Conway. I am the priest in charge at the parishes, and I invite you to join us this evening for our service of Compline. But before we start this service, I would ask you to take a moment to still and center yourself and to remember something that has touched your heart today, something for which you can give thanks to God. Amen. And now we begin our service of Compline on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And now, in silence, let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now we'll say together Psalm 4, which is on page 128 in the Book of Common Prayer. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, can make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now I will read to you part of uh, a reading from the book of Acts. And it is a reading about St. Paul. So Paul is speaking now to a Roman official before he is sent to Rome to appear before Caesar. Thus I journeyed to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priests. At midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven, brighter than the sun shining round me and those who journeyed with me. And when we had fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It hurts you to kick against the goads. And I said, who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise up, stand upon your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you to serve and bear witness.
You know, these days, we are asked to bear witness. It was not just people in the first century. We are asked to bear witness against injustice. We are asked to bear witness to the mercy and love of God. But sometimes it's hard to know when, where, how to do it. Sometimes we wish we were knocked off a horse by a great light. But we have the witness of Paul. We, as witnesses, depend upon the witness of another as they will depend upon us. Remember that when you feel called to bear witness. Take a moment, ask the Spirit if this feels right, and then do it. Amen. And now I have a collect from the collection of prayers done by Frank Topping, Daily Prayer. And this is a prayer written by Bishop Lancelot Andrews in the 16th century. O Lord God, perfect us in that which we lack of your gifts, of faith to increase it, of hope to establish it, of love to kindle it. And make us to fear but one thing only, the fearing of anything more than you, our Father, our Savior, and our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. And now we return to our Compline service, and we will go to our prayers. But before we do that, I would like to read to you the names of the people who have asked our prayers. For Mark, Antonia, Kathleen, Alicia, Karen, Betty, Faith, Teresa, Henry, Chuck, Isaiah, Christine, Roger, Samantha, Ruth, John, Eric, Dan, Catherine, Justin, the Dias family, Ray, Zoe, Anja, Miss Zachheim, and Katrina. We pray also for our essential workers, for Marco, for Pablo, for Anthony, for Holly, Ray, Elfrida, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, and Graham. We pray especially for those who have died, Gary, Douglas, William, and Sarah. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this light with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. 
Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen.